friends, welcome to the video. If you guys have not met me before, I'm Olivia, nice to meet you. And I review perfumes, so if you're into that sort of thing, I would suggest that you subscribe to the channel so that, that way you can see any of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's get into it. So although you guys have seen recent uploads of me, I feel like I have not filmed in so long because I haven't. Because all of the videos, um, were pre-filmed before I went on vacation. So I recently took a vacation to Paris, Rome, and Berlin. And I had an amazing time. As many of you know, both Paris and Rome are hotspots for perfume. So I most certainly got a nice little haul while I was over there, and that's what I wanted to show you guys today. So behind me here on the desk, I have got this awesome array of fragrances, and I'm just gonna show it off to you guys. So first stop in Paris was Fragonard, and I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that perfectly because my French pronunciation is pretty poor, but someone correct me in the comments, please. But this is how you spell it, Fragonard. <laughs> and so I got this little sampler set. Um, so I have Il de Amour, Belle de Nuit, sorry about my laundry in the background if you can hear it, uh, Rose Lavande, Etoile, and Diamant. They say that they're parfum concentration, but I believe it was Diamant that I used, and it's kind of a light, fresher fragrance, and I felt like it performed like an eau de toilette or a body spray. So I'm hoping that the other ones will do me a little bit better. So. Um, the only full bottle that I got from Fragonard was um, Belle de Grasse, and this is, oh, it's so nice. It's a mimosa flower fragrance, so it's got that yellow, fluffy, sweet, floral, um, springtime feel to it, and I feel like it kind of matches what I have on, so maybe I'll consider wearing this one today. Next up, I have one that I got in Rome. This is by Perfumo Roma, and this is the scent Ignusia. So I've said on my channel before that I am not much of a green fragrance person. Not really my thing. I don't like grassy notes. I like to smell them in nature. But as far as to smell like it on my person, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't, I like to smell floral, but this is an incredibly green fragrance. And I mean, it is green through and through. And there's something about it that I really, really enjoy. Um, I almost, it doesn't have the note of green apple, but there's something sweet. And I think it has um, fig, I could be wrong. There is an undeniable greenness to it, but I brought this along to show to some of my fragrance friends and a few of them are also not really into green fragrances, but we all swapped um, some samples. As you can see, there's a nice little dent in this already, just because everyone really liked it, and it's very unique. So if you're looking for something green, good for spring and summer, fresh, a little sweet, and something interesting, something unique, I would really check out Ignusia. Next up I have, by Il Profumo, I have Chocolat. And this is a chocolate patchouli fragrance, which kind of sounds like what? Angel by uh, Mugler, right? But in Angel, I find it to be very uh, polarizing. I don't care for that scent because it is very sharp patchouli. It is very irritating to me. Um, and it dries down very almost animalic. And this, when I first smelled it, I, I almost get like a, like an incense quality too, but it's got that chocolate note, it's got a little bit of sweetness, and it does have an undeniable patchouli, but it's not an obnoxious patchouli. So if you liked, kind of, Angel um, by Mugler, maybe you would like this one as a little bit more palatable of a uh, fragrance. And I showed this to my husband, and I was totally not expecting this to be the kind of fragrance that he enjoyed. Um, but I sprayed it, and I had him smell it because I was considering buying it, and he was like, oh my god. Next up is a bizarre one. Okay, so this is by the French brand Théo Cabanel, and this is Je ne sais quoi. 
um, which means I don't know what. It's interesting because this is a rice matcha fragrance. But when I smelled this, I had a woman show it to me at the store and it smells like peanut butter upon first spray to me. It has this undeniable creaminess and it smells almost nutty and it just came off like peanut butter to me. But it's so bizarre. Now I've worn this several times. You can already see I made a little dent in this. And I've worn this on skin several times now. And it dries down to smell like a milky baby. It's so bizarre. I think it's named perfectly. I think this would fare better in colder weather, which it was colder over there. And then I got back to California and it just slapped me with like 85 degree days. So I was like, maybe not right now because I think it would be a little cloying. But, oh, it is... At first, I was like, no. But then, I kept smelling the card that the woman sprayed it on, and I was like, maybe. Actually, yes. So I purchased it, and it is so yummy. And I noticed that this one gets a lot of compliments. I sprayed a little bit of this on myself um, on my way home from the airport, and my friend came to pick us up and she texted me afterwards and she's like, my whole car smells amazing right now. You'll have to tell me what you were wearing. So this is the one. This is a fragrance house that I'm not necessarily super familiar with, but this is Farmacia SS Annunciata and this is an Italian brand and I got Via del Incenso. This is a clean incense fragrance. So it's, it's incense, it's very dry, lightly woody, and very clean and crisp. I showed this also to my group of friends and it's a beast, it performs really well. And although this is definitely not the taste of my group of friends, they all really enjoyed it. They were like, oh my God, it's so, how is it dark and smoky, but it's also crisp and clean. Those are two things that usually don't go together. This house, absolutely blew me away because I love that smell of, um, there's another incense fragrance that I reviewed on my channel and I'm totally blanking. So someone help me out if you've seen my videos. Which one did I say smelled like Copal? Um, incense Suave, Incense Suave, all right. That one is much heavier, much darker, much more masculine and richer. And then this one is like Diet Incense Suave, but it still performs really incredibly. Now this one, I think, is easily my favorite out of all of the fragrances that I picked up the entire time. It comes in close with Je ne sais quoi, but um, Je ne sais quoi to me is one of those ones that I won't be able to wear too frequently just because California is hot and I feel like it could um, blossom a little too much in heat, but this one is by the same brand, um, Farmacia SS Annunciata, and this is Fiore de Cotone. And this translates to cotton flower. Oh my goodness, okay, this smells like clean linen, fluffy cotton flowers, crisp air, which don't, I don't know what, what does that even smell like, crisp air, but it's so light, it's effervescent, it almost smells like really powerful laundry sheets, which I know a lot of people are like, why would I want to smell like that? It is incredible. It's so incredible. And I know that this is a head turner because I was so intrigued with this, I was so obsessed with this, that the minute we left the store in Rome, I was like And as I walked by people, I could see this like, Mm, you know, like a, not like a, who, like, what is that? No, like a, mmm, you smell like you just bathed. And it's just, gosh, if you ever guys, if you ever get a chance to smell this, try it out. If you like fresh fragrances, if you like clean laundry, soapy, um, f I don't even want to say floral because although it's cotton flower, it doesn't have that white floral heaviness, like tuberose, jasmine, gardenia. No, this is light, it's effervescent, it's chef's kiss. I'm not going to hold all of them up, but this is another um, fragrance house that I got while I was in Rome, and it's called Essentialmente Laura, and 
This is an Italian um, perfumer, and I think it's kind of a, a niche luxury perfumer um, that you can find more so there, because I've never heard of this before. Shh! Because I have never heard of this brand outside of Rome. Um, so I have eight little minis, and I don't want to hold them all up, but I will just read to you guys. I will just read to you guys which ones I picked and their notes. So, um, I have Fior de Perro, which is pear blossom and white musk. I got a cob, which is iodine marine notes. I got aqua barraca, which is narcissus and lily of the valley. Got viola, which is violet and mandarin leaf. I got flora, which is camellia and gardenia. I got mare, which is sea. That's just, you guys can tell I like my aquatics and my florals, right? Um, I got vermilio, which is musk, vanilla, and pink grapefruit. That one is delicious. I've worn that one. And then I got mizar, which is musk oud. Um, so yeah, if you guys want a more in-depth, um, explanation of those ones or a review once I've worn all of them on skin and I can tell you a little bit more about longevity, put it in the comments below just because I know that this isn't a well-known house, but if you're interested, if they sound interesting, I would be happy to do a dedicated review on these eight fragrances. And last but not least, I got a discovery set from Santa Maria Novella. Um, I might have mentioned in another video that a friend of mine for my birthday purchased me a full-size bottle of one of these fragrances and I did not have the heart to tell her that it smelled like Vicks Vapor Rub or Barbershop <laughs> and so I returned it and I exchanged it and I will never tell her that because I know it will hurt her feelings <laughs> but I got the discovery set so that way I can at least wear it one time around her and be like oh yeah that's the one you got me <laughs> Is that terrible? Is that is that in poor taste? I don't know. What she doesn't know won't hurt her, right? So this one has Aqua de la Regina, Frisia, Rosa Gardinia, Rosa Novella, Angeli di Ferenzi, Melograno, and Tabaco Toscano. Oh, and Potpourri, which is the one she got me. So these ones, this is a very old fragrance house um, from Italy, and these ones smell very, um, very much natural. They smell like um, essential oils. And so again, if you're interested in a full review of the set, I would be happy to smell them and tell you what I think. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Keeping it short and sweet, just wanted to share with you the things that I got while I was on vacation. And I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be like, are you just gonna like completely buzz over the fact that you bleached your hair? Yes, I bleached my hair. Uh, I um, naturally am like a sandy blonde, kind of like Taylor Swift or Owen Wilson. And so that brown color wasn't natural and this isn't natural. I'm somewhere in between those. So um, yeah, I just wanted to brighten up for summer and usually blonde is my go-to. So I uh, hope you guys like it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Take care.